Today, here at the Washington Post headquarters, Civil Liberties Organization Roots Action demanded that the Post be fully candid with its readers over a controversial new relationship. Now, that relationship involves the newspaper's new owner, Jeff Bezos, who also happens to be the CEO of Amazon. Of particular interest to Civil Liberties advocates is Amazon's recent $600 million contract with the Central Intelligence Agency for cloud computing services. At a press conference that took place here, one activist and former Washington Post reporter had this to say. I think readers of the Washington Post have a right to know what uh, influences might be brought to bear on the stories they're reading in the paper. It's bad business for journalists uh, in any respect to be tied in with the CIA. The Washington Post often reports on CIA activities. So activists say it's only fair that the newspaper's coverage offer full disclosure that the owner, Jeff Bezos, is now making huge profits off of this new CIA deal. And for that reason, Roots Action recently launched an online petition encouraging Washington Post readers to come forward and call for more transparency. Now, so far, over 30,000 people have signed that petition, with some of them leaving their thoughts on the situation. One user wrote that this is just another example of the good old boys club. Another user wrote, if the Amazon CIA link is no problem, what is the bar to disclosure? Today, that petition was officially delivered to the Washington Post. Now, the newspaper's executive editor, Martin Barron, did respond to a separate letter notifying him about the petition. In that letter, he defended the newspaper and said that the Post has among the strictest ethics policies in the field of journalism, and we vigorously enforce it. But he went on to say that, quote, the petition's request for disclosure of Amazon's CIA contract in every story we write about the CIA is well outside the norm of conflict of interest disclosures at media companies. Now, earlier, I had the chance to speak with Norman Solomon, the co-founder of Roots Action, and this is what he had to say in response. When you don't have the sunlight of disinfectant going on so that people know what the vested interests are, then there's a relationship between very powerful government agencies, in this case the Central Intelligence Agency, and the power of the press. So we pride ourselves in the United States. We like to think that there's a separation between press and state. This is a, an erosion of that separation. So this is a highly contentious issue, and it remains to be seen, given the mounting pressure, whether the Washington Post will change any of its procedures going forward. In Washington, Amira David, RT.